All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading to China. They had a cabin fire in one of their aircraft. So we'll see how the firefighters dealt with the situation. Let's check it out. Okay, we got big trouble in little China here. January 8th, 2022. We have a fire in the cabin area and there was no cause of what happened yet. But there was a Avastar Tupolev TU-204-100C. was a 33-year-old freighter. And it happened here at this Hangzhou International Airport. Now, this is a massive airport. I wonder how many ARF stations there are, how many fire trucks. I mean, looking at that picture, there was a lot of fire that came on scene. We're going to do a firefighter breakdown here shortly. But they must get a lot of calls, medical and otherwise. So this is before fires on scene, but you're going to come on, look at the smoke, get the call. You're going to respond from the fire station, uh, do a 360, see if there's any passengers involved. The aircraft was pushing back, so you don't have to worry about a jet bridge. Um, eight crew evacuated, no injuries. So you're going to want to get everybody out of this area so that all you have to focus on is the aircraft. And then you can see here, they sur basically surround and drown this thing putting mass amount of water on it. Um, but this is what we would do. We would use our high reach extendable turrets. We would use our thermal imaging camera, see where the heat is. And you can see um, we probably would try to stay away from the ground um, streams. Try to use more of your high reach extendable turrets and come down from the top. Um, just because you can see a lot of times the driver here doesn't really see exactly where the stream is going. So a lot of times it's either reflect, uh, deflecting off the fuselage or going over the top and maybe hitting the trucks on the opposite side or personnel on the ground on the opposite side. So the best would be to go ahead and try to hit it from the top here because we do have cameras that could see right where the seat is, especially in this situation where the fuselage is opened up already, you would be able to really get down on that fire versus trying to shoot it from the ground, which is a lot more difficult. And then so here, this is later on in the fire. You can see they figured it out here. They got those other trucks out of the way. They came in only with their turrets. And now they're hitting it from the top, which is a lot more effective and a lot, a uh, lot more accurate. Um, and then also better for agent conservation as well. Uh, please subscribe if you like this content. Uh, eventually, the fuselage did burn through; it, it collapsed here. So you got to worry about stabilizing the aircraft. Make sure nobody is, you know, in a place where they can get hurt. So really focus on using your your turrets. Use your distance to your advantage. Um, but as the fire is out and as you stabilize the aircraft, eventually you will have to come in and uh, look at what happened here and get inside and do a little bit of overhaul. But they did foam the ground here to make sure that there is no, um, you know, any fuel that could light off, you know, so the, they made the ground safe, um, the, the, the area safe for firefighters to work around as they move on to the ending part of this, this fire. And then here it is too, they brought in little stairs here so they could access um, and I get a better look at the at the aircraft once the fire was, was out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe for more content. This is Arfrod, I'm Keone. I'll see you guys next time.